hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be an updated current product current hair product video um so yeah if you want to know all the things that i've been using for my hair as of late then please keep on watching okay guys so jumping right in i'm going to start with um, a condition a shampoo a shampoo and a conditioner um you guys have seen these um specific shampoo and conditioners on my in previous videos before so i'm not going to get too much into it but i'm just going to show you what they are the shampoo um that's not really empty this is a um um, this is a clarifying shampoo and this is from Garnier. This is a Garnier Hoblins Replenishing Shampoo in Legendary Olive. And this is the 22 Fluid Ounce one. I ordered this off Amazon. Um, but the store size, like at Walgreens and CPS, I think it's like 12.5 fluid ounces. So this is the bigger bottle. I got a bigger, I got a big bottle of clarifying shampoo just because I knew it would take me a long time to um, use it up. Next, next thing I have to show you is practically empty this is the whole plan whole blends repairing conditioner um and honey treasures and this is also the 22 fluid ounce one i also ordered this um off of amazon so this is what it looks like um i talked briefly about this in my who which was it was my i think my straightening video but yeah um i also have another conditioner from whole blends it's the the one with the camellia oil extract one illuminating conditioner like it's like an orangey gold bottle um i have that one too i don't i didn't use that one as much as i use this um this saved my hair um when my hair was like going through it which i'll tell you later on in the video moving on to the next section these are things that um I'm using trying out basically trying to empty but before that I want to go into you guys have heard me talk about um, using oils and stuff um, olive oil is still a current thing of mine that I like to use I'm trying to get my hands on some sweet almond oil and macadamia oil to see how that um, works for my hair but as always oil I need an oil for like to seal the wash and go or just to, to do a hot oil treatment or to pre-poo i need olive oil i don't i can't use coconut on my hair anymore because it dries my hair out like nobody's business so olive oil is still a favorite of mine um next i'm um, going in with this the letters are all um rubbed off at this point but this is a phyto specific um spido phyto specific um leave-in i think this is or some sort of yeah it's a like a hair lotion daily daily hair daily hair lotion sorry this is the curl legend um curl energizing spray daily ultra hydration light hold flake free um the the product that came with this is in the horrible section and i will get to that little mini story time but um, I actually enjoy using this. I use this in my hair straightening video just as a light moisturizer to give my hair some sort of moisture. But I actually get, like using this for if I don't want to use like a uh, heavy leave-in. I use this just to give my hair some sort of moisture just so my hair is not dry and just left for dead, you know. Next I have, this is another Garnier um, product. This is the Garnier Fructis. Um, with active fruit protein curl nourish buttercream you guys have seen this before I'm pretty sure by other um, youtubers but yeah I was kind of hesitant to use this because it says buttercream and I have fine hair so I didn't want my hair to be weighed down but this actually makes my hair feel so hydrated and so soft and so manageable I can dry detangle with this and that's one thing I look for in a leave-in. If I can detangle without, if I can use it to detangle my hair without having to use water, then, then it's it's a good thing. So, um, this is the Curl Nourish Buttercream Leave-In Treatment with Coconut, Jojoba, Macadamia Oils. Now, this does say coconut, but this doesn't dry my hair because there's other oils with it. This stuff is really fruity. It smells so good, um, and I like using this. Um, I do still use the um garnier whole blends ones the olive oil one and the i think it's coconut milk and coconut something else i don't know um i still use those two but i just decided to reach out and try other leave-ins from garnier since those products from garnier help really like did good things to my hair i wanted to try other things so here is this curl nourish 
buttercream leave-in that I absolutely love. So these two are different, I guess, scents of, I hate when people say flavors, which is obviously a scent. Um, two different scents of the um, Eco Styler Gel. So the first one I want to talk about is, let me talk about this one. This is the Eco Styler Coconut Oil Gel, and I got the big one um, just because I got, first of all, I reached for this one because they didn't have the olive oil gel and the olive oil works for my hair. Like I tried the argan oil one and that just didn't do anything for my hair whatsoever. Like not even when I tried to slick it down on a ponytail, the olive, the argan oil gel is a no go. So I thought I'd try and try this one out. Um, this is coconut oil, but, um, it doesn't dry my hair out. It actually just doesn't hold my hair as good as the olive oil one does um it smells coconutty i mean as coconut could smell i guess and um the only thing i don't like about this one and the other i'm going to show you i really don't like the shimmer that's in it like i don't it doesn't really do anything for me like it doesn't you know make my hair any more shiny like what's the point but um i don't like the shimmer in here and um this does not it doesn't hold my hair as much as i like it i have hold but it doesn't give me that good strong hold like the olive oil um gel does the next gel is the eco styler black castor oil and flaxseed gel um yeah this does a little bit better of a job than the coconut oil one does and i just got a small sample here you guys have seen this before I just got a small sample size just to see how I'd like it. Um, it still doesn't do, you know, the olive oil justice, but it does a little bit better of a job holding my hair than the coconut oil one. So um, I'll probably end up getting a better, and this one smells a little better. This one smells better than the coconut oil one. It's a lot more fruity, and I like it. Um, so... I definitely would reach I'm definitely gonna reach for this if they don't have olive oil gel I'm probably gonna reach for a bigger jar of this than the coconut oil one just because it gives me a little bit more hold than the coconut oil one next we're gonna talk about two products that I think overall have just just like just messed my hair up like I don't know what happened I don't know why it happened but I'm just I'm still kind of ticked off about it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this Phyto Specific Curl Legend Gel, Curl Sculpting Cream Gel. Um, you would know I use this product in my color touch up um, wash and go routine video. Um, I'll link it up here, put a card here so you guys can go and check that out. Um, I also updated the description box because that's when I updated it is when I found out that this is a shit product excuse my language but this is a horrible horrible product I don't I don't know who this works for doesn't work for me and so yeah so and after that video that wash and go uh, I usually let my hair stretch I can stretch my hair to my wash and goes maybe like five days the most um so I just go in the shower and just completely saturate my hair and then I go in like finger, um, not finger detangle. I um, split it into four sections while I'm in the shower. And then I saturate all the sections. And then I like to do that because I want to get most of the product out before I go in with the shampoo. And usually, like not even usually, all of the time that I wash, rinse my, wash my wash and go out, I don't have to use a conditioner to detangle it because my hair is already detangled from it being in a wash and go and it's defined and everything still. So I just literally just take my wide tooth comb and just detangle while the water is running through my hair. That didn't happen. So that was the first red flag where I was like, okay, hold up now. Something, something's a little crazy. So still trying to detangle it. Nothing's happening. It's just at this point. As I'm trying to detangle, it's just as the as more as the more I comb it, the more it's getting tangled. So I'm like, okay, let me use some conditioner because conditioner always helps. Um, so I put some Aussie Moist in my hair to detangle it. That wasn't working. And when I found when I saw that the Aussie Moist wasn't working, I knew something was up because as I said in my last product video, 
Ozzy Moist is like the best in shower detangler that you can use. Conditioner you can use to detangle whatsoever. It has so much slip. It's hydrating. It was not detangling my hair whatsoever. So I'm now I'm like freaking out because I'm like, okay, what is of my hair? Um, I pretty much this back section when I um split my hair into four sections, this back section was the only one that was giving me that much of a that much problem. I'm just trying to detangle it, and when I tell you the amount of hair, the amount of hair that came out with me out of that shower. I was shook. I was I was like really pissed off because it was clumps, okay? Clumps of hair um that came out. And so I was like, you know what? I can't I didn't even want to wash my hair with shampoo because I didn't want it to get even more matted and even more knotted up. So I just kind of co-washed a little bit and then got out of the shower because I was really just like upset like I was I cried in the shower because I was like freaking out like what is going on with my hair so I was like like I was just upset like that my hair is like not doing what it normally does um so I was sitting there and I was just like I was thinking like what is the one thing that I changed in my routine all the products that I've used were the same except for this this was the only thing that changed I use the same leave-in, I use the same shampoo, same conditioner. Every time I wash my hair, it's the same. Um, this was the only thing that was different. And so this was the culprit. This part of my hair is now the thinnest because oh, that's the most like you can I can visibly see and physically feel that that is the the thinnest part of my hair now. And so I'm just trying to figure out um, products trying to find products to help you know thicken my hair but yeah so that is that the next horrible product that I used on my hair is a mask um again I was trying to venture out and um I will never do I, I mean I'm still gonna venture out but uh, okay, so the next product is this Maui Moisture product, and this is the Strength and Anti-Breakage Agave Hair Mask for Chemically Damaged Hair. This is what it looks like, and this is in the red packaging, and it says to smooth, heal, and quench. Lies. It's pure lies and deceit, okay? So I put this on my hair because I needed a mask, okay? Don't judge me. I haven't deep conditioned or put a mask on my hair in a while. So please don't judge me. <laughs> please don't. So I reached for this because first, I've never tried anything from Maui Moisture. Second, I needed a hair mask. And three, I've never tried anything with agave in it. And four... It said for chemically damaged hair, which we all know it's a little bit of damage there. So I gave this a go. Um, as you can see, it is mostly empty, not empty, but I used a good amount of it. You can see down here how empty it is. I used this in the shower when I was trying to wash this out and figure out why my hair was just falling apart. Um, this mask is horrible. I put the mask on to see if the mask had enough slip to at least help aid, you know, aid in the detangling. And honey, as soon as I put this on my hair, who sorry, as soon as I put this mask on my hair, it was dry. Okay, dry, 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 dry. I tried to work it in my hair and I'm talking, I'm taking big handfuls of this working it into my wet hair you know dry i tried to put water in it and it just got even drier like, i don't know i don't know what they i listen i was like you know what maybe when i rinse it out i was like you know what i'm gonna take a break you know do something with my hair stretch it out moisturize it braid it up for a couple days and then I'm going to come back to this and see if this is really horrible. And it is. I tried this twice. I 
put this mask in my hair twice and I was just disappointed. I was angry because my hair was even more dry than when I came in the shower. Um, I will never buy this mask again. I'm not saying I will never buy a Maui Moisture again. I just would not buy this mask again. The first product I want to talk about is conditioner. Um, well, there are two conditioners that I have here. But the first one I want to talk about is the OGX Moisture and Vitamin B5 Conditioner. And it looks like this. This is what it's looking like. And I just recently bought this like maybe two weeks ago or maybe, no, yeah, two weeks ago, two and a half weeks, let's say that. Um, this is a B5 conditioner. It says drench and nourish, nourish strands with this rich blend with B, vitamin B5. It helps to speed, to speed moisture, to stress locks, stress locks, can't read. Rebuild damaged lipids to improve ability to retain moisture and add strength and elasticity to help get your hair back to healthy. Everything that I was calling my name, okay? Um, I got this because I've never tried an OGX uh, conditioner at all or shampoo or anything like that. I've never tried this brand, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, also, there's a vitamin here, so I thought, hey, vitamin B5, let me see if it'll help my hair. Um, I've only used it once. It smells good. It's like a fruity, clean scent, I guess. But um, I've only used it once after I used one of these products. But I think I'm going to go and try these conditioners on their own. So the next conditioner is this Hydrating and Macadamia Oil Conditioner. It looks like this. Again, I've never used OGX before. These are my first products from OGX. And if I like them, I'm probably going to purchase more. <laughs> So it says, drench your dry, damaged strands in an ultra moisturizing, moisture, ultra moisturizing, luxurious blend infused with exotic macadamia oil, sugar cane extract, and bamboo extract. This hydrating formula helps to smooth parched hair and soften and prevent split ends for a lustrous, vibrant mane with brilliant shine. Yes, here for it. Okay, so yeah, this has a. Hmm. Huh, like a buttery, planty, fruity smell. I don't know if that helps you anyway, shape, form, or fashion, but that's what I get. On the back, it says sulfate free, surfactants, hair care system. Why you want it? This exotic blend helps create a decadent treat for your hair. It's all you need to help discover soft, smooth, and seductive hair in one irresistible formula. Um, the B5 conditioner is white. While this one is kind of like a yellowy, like green, like a yellowy conditioner. Um, I'm excited to see how these work for my hair. And if they work good, I'm probably going to purchase this again. Um, the last product that I want to talk to you about is a mask. And this mask and this conditioner, okay, saved my hair from that whole gel cream agave mask disaster. This is the new Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisture Replenish and Strength Hair Mask with pure honey, rich coconut oil, and creamy shea butter, no sulfates, and no mineral oil. And this is what it looks like. It is an orangey texture. Um, texture. It's an orangey color. This is what it looks like. And it's runny. It's like, it's creamy, but runny at the same time. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, I don't want it to fall out. But this is, it looks, you know, it's, it's really runny. I don't want it to spill out. It smells, hmm, it smells planty, I guess. It smells planty with like a little bit of like chocolatey, coconutty type of vibe, I guess. This mask is life. I'm definitely going to buy at least two more backups of these. This mask is really, like, really, really well. It, it works really, really well. It makes my hair completely soft. I can actually detangle with this mask. Um, I want to try all the other products in this line, but I definitely want to get more of these, more um, jars of this mask because, ooh, this really did save my hair as well as I said this conditioner these both together really saved my hair as well as some olive oil 
so yeah i'm i'm really happy i picked this up this really did wonders on my hair you guys should pick it up for real um you guys really should pick it up for sure for sure um i talked about this on my insta story if you guys follow me on instagram if you don't um i will put all my instagram information down there or on the screen if you guys want to follow me you can i will put all these products that i mentioned down in the description box so you guys can check those out and search that and purchase and do all the research you want about it but yeah i'm so happy i got this mask and that is it for my updated current hair products thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye guys Thank you.